my name is Shalini Bathina, and uh, you can watch Long Slow Exhale on Spectrum Originals. Shalini, welcome to the cave. Thank you for having me. Uh, exciting times for you. Just had a season one wrapped up a few weeks ago, a few about a week ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. Long slow as Excel. You played Emily Fisk. Uh, exciting times for you. <laughs> yep, definitely. I'm very excited. <laughs> so uh, before we uh, dive into that more, I was doing some research on you, and I gotta know, like, uh, I don't, you know, you you got into the acting world, but you studied at U UCB in the ground leagues. I gotta know, like, what made you get into improv, and from there, what made you get into the, like push more yourself into the acting world? Um, I was, I did UCB and Groundlings. I, I think it's like an actor, like every actor does it here. They, we go to improv classes, this helps um, for performance and being on stage or being on screen. I think it loosens you up. And I really loved improv growing up and um, never got to do it much in high, in college. So I mm. wanted to try it and it was so fun. I loved UCB and Groundlings. They're, they're really, really great. And then, but I was taking scene, scene study and acting throughout the whole time. And I was in class and um, I had graduated from USC for theater, so I was pretty much in the acting world since forever. Because <laughs> wow. I've had other guests on before. They've been to the Groundlings at UCB, and they're, they're, they fell in love with comedy. Did you fall in love with comedy at first also? I love comedy. Yeah, comedy is fantastic. I, did, uh, I, I think, like, as an actor, you try to do anything. You want to do everything and anything. So comedy was definitely up on my radar for a while, and I was getting more comedic roles in the beginning and um so I thought that was where my trajectory was going to go actually so I was surprised that it went this way but um yeah I love comedy I mean I watch uh, so many comedy shows and um I'm a fan of like the old ones like Frasier and okay. you know I was, I was a huge fan of Frasier like doing something like that would be a dream Big Bang Theory um Baby Daddy all of those they were great yeah I remember you Baby Daddy me my wife loved that show and everything so and that was a must have been a fun time being on that show oh my god it was my I think it was my favorite um t tv experience i've ever done because it's like the perfect blend of theater and film mm -hmm. so you get to like obviously see it in production you know post but it's you repeat it you do it in front of a live audience and then they come yeah. in and write for you and they like switch the line on you so it's very instinctual and i i had a blast i like i was like this would be the dream i want to do a show like this so you want to do a sitcom live audience so yeah. fun yeah i think my day my work days would be great like you rehearse all week and then you film like that's like a dream like versus um single cam you kind of go on to set and you figure it out and you do it but this was like you had time to rehearse and time to play and yeah. it was so fun <laughs> and who knows they, they were they've been talking a little bit about maybe like a little revival of that who knows i know that would be amazing <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let's jump into your new role now you uh, long slow <laughs> exhale uh, we were, you know for a while you know there was articles come out about this show and everything and the way like it just came out like Tell us about your audition. How did you get approached for this role for Emily Fisk? Fisk. Um, yeah, I, I got the audition. I was, it was uh, um, J January or so. I was just auditioning for a bunch of different pilots and mm. straight to series shows and um, moving slowly ahead. And then I got this one and then I don't, I kind of just fit. I was like, oh, this, this scene makes sense. This, this character makes sense. And I was reading with a friend and my friend's like, this is really good for you. And I was like, I, yeah, I feel that too. And then sent the tape in because it was self tapes at the time and it was right like okay. prime like pandemic time um and then it just kept moving forward and they i went to callbacks and to producer session and then went to test and i all happened within like i think like a week or two and then i find out i'm moving in moving to atlanta in two weeks wow. <laughs> so it was very fast how much did you know about the show when you first like kind of like read the role and everything and what you knew what the show is about like did it like pull you in right away too because like i don't want to give out too many spoilers but you know there's a murder mystery involved. There's a, there's a few things involved. Let's yep, just say. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I, uh, uh, I definitely, I think I didn't get the script for the audition. Uh, I don't know. I did not get the script for the audition, but the scenes were very clear and um, it, it kind of told the entire story right there. So, and I, the writing was really good and very real and grounded. And I think that's what I first immediately um, resonated with. And I really liked, and then I got the first episode and then the right. first, I think first, two or three episodes and I was like ooh character check story check writing check I was like these this is a fun project I like looked at my dad I was like I like this I like this so I'm, I'm excited what was the description you were given for Emily and how did um, you prepare to play this role I think the description was she's the assistant coach 
Um, she's the, she's like a difficult, she's the one who's, um, keeps the kids in line and the, in check. She's mm -hmm. the harder one of the, the coaches, the, she's also the newer, younger one. So she's a little bit more, she has something to prove and she has something to, um, uh, fight for. So I think that was kind of the description they gave. And then it was more the scenes and the scenes were definitely like before it was a little bit, she was a little more gentler, I think. And she was a little bit more on JC's side. And over, over time, as the scripts came, she, they changed her to have more of a conflict, to be more feisty, to be more, um, to have a fight in her and to be like manipulated by, you know, you'll see it. I don't know. I should not give it any right, right. <laughs> yeah. But it's funny because like the first episode, it pulls you in right away. And then they're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, there's all these like, fl you know, like going back in time to see what certain things that happened to the story and, and it, it goes back and forth. Like, what's your thoughts about all that? The way the story plays out. I think it's, I think it's a really great way to tell a story. I think it pulls you in. Um, and it also, it's a great way to set up a mystery. I think mm. you get backstory and then you come back to the present. And so you're hooked into two different worlds and two different times. I think it's just a fun way versus just like a traditional trajectory. I think it's really cool to go back and forth. And it's, they, they, I like how they filmed that too. Like even just like the editing of it and, um, yeah. everyone that I know has watched it has been like gripped and hooked. So I'm like, wow, they're doing it's, I know the story. So I was like, okay, cool. Watching it and being taken for a journey, but then everyone else watching it, like my mother-in-law <laughs> blanket over her head and was screaming. And I was like, oh good, this is the reaction. <laughs> now I had Samantha Barto on, uh, on the show, oh, uh, nice. when the, when the show first came out. And, uh, one of the questions I asked her is like, like, did you like, cause you know, she played a basketball player, you're playing a coach. Did you go like to try to watch any film or any like other shows to try to like get an idea how to play a coach also? Yes. Um, I, my husband is a huge basketball fan. Okay. So he helped me look at some, I love Becky Hammond and Pat Summit. So we, we did our research and he was like kind of based off of the script, he was kind of pointing out specific coaches for me to be like, I think you're more like this person or I think you're more like this person. So, um, just for me, the, the big thing was physically and, you know, how they move on a court and how like, it's, it's a giant thing. There's cameras all over you, but they're very, very comfortable. They're, they're all, the focus is sole focus is the game. And I think watching them actually be on, uh, on camera was really fun to watch. Cause they like, you kind of forget that they don't realize that the cameras are there. They're just like, so focused and they kind of let go a little yes. bit and they're like fighting and screaming. So I really like the, what kind of energy I had to like bring in for a courtroom court setting. And then also, um, how they, you know, captivate the entire team and then they, they make sure they're heard and listened to and how to own a room that way. And mm. I, that was something I was trying to, I was nervous about because you don't do that often in your day to day. Like, you know, I'm not a motivational speaker or something. Like I, I don't, I don't coach, like I've taught yes. children and that's a different thing, but I've never had a, a situation where I was um, like, you know, a, inspiring someone. I think that was something really it's, it's a challenge so I was watching all the players for that and then how they interview and so it was it was fun to do the research for her yeah. what did you love about Emily and if there's anything would you change anything about her if you could I love how feisty I think how her fight in her is is mm. amazing that's something that I think any woman kind of wants to do in a situation I don't I don't think I could do it the way she does it um but she doesn't care she knows what she wants and she goes for it that is admirable very admirable I like, I don't think I would change anything about her because I think the character is just fun to play with. I like the flaws of her. Um, I think she can handle things a little bit calmly, <laughs> but she doesn't. Um, but as a person watching that, but uh, I really like playing what, uh, what they, I like uh, what doing what they've given, given me with her. So it's, it was really fun. Yeah. Now you're, you're an assistant coach. You have a team. Yeah. How's that chemistry between you and like the cast? Oh, they're so great. The girls are amazing. They are they came in ready. They were like not playing around. They came in prepped, um, focused, dedicated. They were so fun. And I think they made it my, they made it easy for me. We try to like create a, you know, characters together and a yeah. relationship with each other. And they were just very sweet. They were also like super humble, very loving and down, down to earth. And um, I like, I know like Jordan and I have like a thing. So we found that with each other in the scenes and you know, played around with looks and improv and stuff like that. So I, I think um, they did a really, I think they did a, I mean, you guys, have, you've seen it. They did such a wonderful job of telling the story. I think that as a season went by, I was like, wow, I was so impressed. Yeah. For the people that haven't watched it yet, what do you hope when they, when they first tune in for the first time to go back and watch it? Like, what do you hope they get out of this? 
Yeah, I think, well, I hope that they resonate with the characters. I think that's first and foremost, because I think these characters are really flawed and, you know, they're, mm-hmm. they're real people. So I think there's a part of everyone in every character. So I think that's something I really want them to resonate with. And then it's also telling a really cool story and it's, it's we're telling a story. So I want them to be um, taken by that. And it's an important story. And I think the message is really strong and the message is really about um, a power play and uh, women fighting for themselves and given a voice. And that's just something you always want to see on TV, or at least we feel very heard. And um, I think like watching it, I was like, yeah, this is the kind of world I want to live in, or maybe not in this particular season, right, but right. you know how they fight for it. But I want to be surrounded by people like that. And I think that was, I think that's, I kind of want people to take away that these are strong characters and strong female yeah. characters. So um, it's inspiring and, you know, to, to appreciate that for sure. What's been the feedback from like your family and friends after they watch the season? <laughs> they, I mean, my family loves it. They've been really happy with it. Um, my, uh, I, said, I said my mother-in-law was like yeah. so into it and the whole family watched it. They messaged me. They're like, this is so good. I like the show so much more than the other ones you've got. And I was like, great. <laughs> okay. And then um, they, I mean, they were like, they've been gripped and hooked every, I think the way they, uh, paced it out has been really great three, three episodes every week I think it's really um gripping so she I was watching my mother-in-law watch the show the last few episodes <laughs> <It was so laughs> fun. I mean she's screaming she's like talking to the, the characters on the screen she's like that's right that's right do it <laughs> <laughs> I took a video of her and I was like this is so great so I'm 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 excited that they like it yeah what's been the feedback now like for like any like uh news about a season two yet have you heard anything do you, do, you like, do, you, do you know anything can you please tell me like <laughs> no read, before we got before we went on the air i was reading some more on it they, the reviews have been good so yeah so i'm hoping yeah i think I, the season two would be amazing i haven't heard anything yet um it's i feel like we're always the last ones to find out anyway mm-hmm. so we're just gonna i'm gonna cross my fingers and we're texting amongst the group and <laughs> We're gonna be like, well, are we gonna work at this year? Amazing! I wanted to finish telling the story. I think there's so much more that we can play with, and I think right. there's we haven't finished it, so I think it'll be really, really fun to do another. And there's always twists. They could always yeah, change the storyline. There's so many around. things they could do. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, yeah. what's next for you now? Any other projects you're allowed to tell us about? Uh, I uh, I'm still looking for stuff. I think there's a couple things on the horizon. I'm waiting for a couple calls right now, but um, I have I'm working on my own stuff. I I produced right. my own. Uh, shorts and so we've just started, we just finished two so some of those are releasing in like a few weeks and then um i work with a, a collaborator on a theater project so we have a, a fun um smaller things on the horizon for sure it's awesome and hopefully who knows maybe another baby daddy yeah oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh lastly how can the listeners and the viewers uh find you on social media uh you can find me on it on on you can find me on instagram um i'm at shalini underscore bathina Shelly, this was great. Uh, thank you for coming to the show. Give me a few minutes today. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it.